All right, we're gonna start on the rower, and this is gonna be our main cardio exercise. We're gonna start with this because we're gonna target our back uh, for the most of this circuit. And already here, we need to squeeze between our shoulder blades, hold our back straight, even hold our core tight to make sure we don't bend or arch our back too much. So, let's go. Lean back, pull it right under your lower chest, and lean a tiny bit forward, pull back. So now we're gonna row, and we are mainly gonna target our back, especially our upper back. What's really important here is that we place our under our hips, we hold our back straight, even with the bend over, and keep our core tight to support our lower back. I'm gonna grab the barbell, walk down, keep the feet under your hips, roll down with your hip back, hold your back straight, so just so you have the barbell exactly where your knees are, and then pull it up to your front corner, squeeze it between your shoulder blades as much as you can, and bring it back down again. Keep the barbell close to your body. And keep your neck straight as well. So you can lift it down, squeeze between your shoulder blades, and let's go down again. Hold the tension all the time. So we keep squeezing our muscles. And hold your core tight. Squeeze your abs. Up and down. Put your elbows back. Here we're going to do some one arm rows and we're going to use the dumbbell this time. We're going to target our lats, so here the side of our back and our arms is going to be active as well. You're going to put your knee up on the bench and you're going to have your other knee in a straight line with the knee on the bench. Make sure you have about hip distance apart Then you want to take your other hand and place it on the bench so it's straight under your shoulder and make sure that your back is straight while you do this. Take the dumbbell down and then you pull it up and down. As you pull up, pull your elbow as high as you can and make sure that your wrist is still straight. Don't try to bend it in, just keep it straight. Go up and down. Gonna do some battle ropes and we're still gonna target our shoulders. I want you to think about while you do this that you keep the tension in between your shoulder blades as well. So we're still gonna activate our upper back and we're also still gonna activate our core all the way around. So make sure you tuck your belly in and keep your abs tight. Picking up the ropes. Here we want to go in a little wider stance. So we're gonna have our feet under our shoulders. Okay, look forward. Sit down a tiny bit, just like a squat, not all the way down to 90 degrees. Chest up, squeeze between your shoulder blades, shoulders back, and go. In our next exercise, we are going to target our shoulders. Uh, we're going to do a push press. So we're going to do them with dumbbells today. Let's pick them up. Here I want you again to have your feet under your hips. Bring the dumbbells up to your shoulder. Just tip from your hip, put your hip back a tiny bit. It's not a squat, we're just dipping. So dip and push, right? So we go down, touching our shoulders, almost have 90 degrees in your elbows and stretch, right? Down and stretch. Let's 
well while you do the exercise always remember to hold your core tight we're still going to push our hip back so we still want to hold our back straight we don't want to arch and we don't want to bend so just keep it straight go up and down nice and easy nice and easy uh, here comes everybody's favorite we are going to do some burpees and burpees is a full body exercise we are going to activate everything so when you do your burpees think about that you want to do it as big as possible so if it's possible for you to get your chest to the floor that's what you do get all the way down to the floor and get all the way up we're still going to hold our abs tight just make sure your core is tight all the way around and then you just go we're going to get the turn the heat up a little bit <clears throat> Okay, don't take the last part. <laughs> Just take like three good ones and then 